if you think about life scenarios, different things that take place on a regular basis, you know, it's almost impossible for the things you learn as a professional to not impact you personally and the things you learn personally to not impact you professionally. Matter of fact, that's probably the perfect scenario. What a lot of people want to do is they want to take their professional life and leave it at the job and take their personal life and leave it at home. And I just think as cute as that sounds, and people think that's cute, it's not freaking cute. There's no way you can learn stuff at the job and not, I'm not talking about dumping stuff, like dumping stuff on your spouse or coming in your in the office at your personal. I'm talking about growing, I'm talking about growth, actual strategies you learn at work and not utilize them in the home. The ones that apply, there's many things that would apply. There's many things that apply to, to the home and as many things apply to the, the, the business. When I think about my life and I think about a lot of the things that have affected me personally, there's no way they haven't impacted me professionally. Matter of fact, most of the thick skin that I've had, I came to work with because I had it when I was a child and into my teenage years from a lot of stuff that I've been through. And I've gotten more as I've gotten in advance in my professional and business career because things happen every single day. So as you're looking at you know yourself personally and what you're doing, you know, it, it should impact the way you view your professional life. I remember a scenario where I was newly married and we found out my wife was pregnant with our son. I had just gotten into the insurance business not that long ago. I had created this, this allotment of time to do all these extracurricular things um, with my life and including ministry and things. And I felt like my life was crashing on me. Marriage is serious. Children are serious. Business is serious. And if I look at my life, like I, those are the things that I really needed, wanted, and was really here for. I was serving at the church and I was serving a particular ministry where I would, you know, assist a pastor while, when they had to speak. So they called it an armor bearer, but I would be an armor bearer for this pastor. And I remember going to him and saying, I have the marriage is a baby, we're having a baby and the business is a baby. I remember those three things, you know, being, you know, just like I was stressed to the gills because I didn't really know how to manage these three and I was broke. So I'm trying to figure out like, I don't know what to do, you know, and, and there's a lot of personal stuff in there. And from a statement like that, what he told me was, you know, you're going to have to reduce some of your ministry responsibilities and, you know, let's put, let's find a way to put all your effort into these three things. Because these three things at the, at the, at the core crux of everything is your ministry. Your, your, your family is your first ministry. You know, that was the first time that that became practical to me. And that was 10 over 10 years ago. Now, 10 years later, I look back at that moment and I look at all the personal growth that I had to go through to get to um, this place where I can understand that level of stress now and I can and I can handle that level of stress now. I'm not saying it's easy. I'm just saying I've built systems and mindset and uh, trials, tribulations, victories that I have seen over the last 10 years that a situation like that wouldn't crash on me as hard and I'd have the wisdom to know where to go with it. Well, you, that's personal growth and that's professional growth. So they do affect each other because the stuff that I've seen professionally over those 10 years with that same scenario, here's the scenario, marriage, baby, baby business. To me, that's the definition of personal and professional clashing. And I didn't go, I didn't section them off. And as a business owner, it's difficult to section them off anyway. So looking at your life and looking at what's possible, you know, whenever you're feeling like, you know, personal is not going the way you want it to go, how can you turn that around? Whenever you're feeling like professional is not going the way you want it to go, how can you turn that around? What are you learning from your personal life that can impact your business life? What are you learning from your business life that can impact your personal life? It's a very um, cool development of life where you're able to 
see both and utilize both and then understand and then get to a place where you understand how to not overutilize. For those people that are married, you can understand. So at the end of the day, what you're what you're trying to do in, 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 in a scenario like this is just learn to enjoy the season that you're in, learn to enjoy the dance of personal and professional, learn to enjoy that they do go together and that you're gonna learn, you're gonna grow from both. You're gonna grow from personal, you're gonna grow from professional. And usually they, if you're doing it right, they're, they're intertwining and it doesn't mean that they're clashing. It just means that, you know, there's romance between pers personal and professional. It just means that, you know, you're dancing. And, it, you know, the people, when you see people dance really well and they anticipate steps, that's doing it right. Now, that takes time. It's not like you're just going to roll out on the dance floor and start breaking down moves. But that's 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 the dance. And that's that's what it looks like. So these are the things that you're going to want to look at as you continue to progress in any stage of life that you're in.